Hey guys, welcome back to Luna Gecko's channel. You know what, in last week's room tour, we had a lot of people ask questions about the baby New Caledonian setups. So in today's video, we're actually gonna go over how we build those and set those up. But, a lot of the things we talk about or show today are available on our Amazon page. So you can click that link and see many of these products, but I'll give you a rundown of what they are. And don't forget about the Luna Merch. Luna Merch Market, the shirt I'm wearing today for the next week on sale, 10% off, lunageckos.shop. Now let's get into it. Let's build an enclosure. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. All right, here we are at the center table. We're gonna build one of these. Let me move this completed one out of the way over here and I'll go over all the stuff we have. So, things you need. First, you need a Sterlite six quart. Simple, inexpensive. Now, before you ask, at the end of the video, uh, we'll do kind of a price sheet rundown because off the top of my head, I can't remember the prices of all these things, but it's all relatively inexpensive, so we will go through it. So you need the Sterlite. You need some PVC pipe. This happens to be CPVC, half inch. You can use CPVC or you can use PVC. I just happen to buy this. You can buy it in all kinds of sections. This is a two foot section. Um, you can get in four, you can get it all the way in eight or 10. Uh, so if you're building a bunch of these, I'd recommend that you buy the longer sections uh, if you have a way to get it home. Otherwise, it's going to be sticking out the window in your car. Or uh, hopefully if you ride a bike, you don't have to strap it to your back. So these little two foot sections at Lowe's, Home Depot, most hardware stores already cut. I happen to have a couple scrap pieces left over from the last time I built a few of these. So I will be using those. Um, I have my glasses which I'm gonna need, you may or may not need. You need one, now depending whether you're using CPVC or PVC, I'm using CPVC as I said. So you need one T-fitting. You need one 45 degree fitting. And then you need three of the end caps. And you need some of this pipe insulation. It comes in I don't know what that is. I guess that's about a six foot section. We'll get to that later. All right, tools. Oh, forgot, need some plants, fake plants. So I like to buy the large and then I just cut them into smaller pieces. This piece we'll see at the end, it might be a little bit small. I had this piece laying around so I figured we would just use it for today. So tools. Need a drill. Need a two inch hole saw. Need something to cut pipe, plastic pipe with. This happens to be a pipe cutter. I like these a lot. You can use a hacksaw, you can use whatever. Um, whatever's available to cut plastic pipe. Probably can't use scissors because it won't cut through the pipe but I need these at the end to cut that pipe insulation. And then here's what we use to vent. So we use these cool little things from Ventmaster. It's, uh, it's aluminum screen. So you'll see after we drill our two inch hole, uh, this just fits in there perfectly. And then these little tabs um, bend into place. And it's cool because it's got this plastic ring around it and then it's aluminum. So when you clean your bins, it, it won't rust. Um, some optional equipment, uh, the mallet, I'll show you. I don't like to glue the fittings because I don't want those extra chemicals in here at all um, with PVC or CPVC glue. So I just kind of pound them in. Um, you don't really have to do it. You can, you can manually force them in, but I'll show you that. And then I got a little piece of sandpaper over here. Um, really any grain sandpaper. Just after we drill the hole, we're gonna wanna, we're gonna wanna sand it a little bit so it's nice and clean and neat. Um, and then an adult libation, certainly optional, and um, make sure you're 21 years old. 
All right, so here's how we start. We take our drill, we take our two inch hole saw, we put it in our drill. I like to keep the lid on because it keeps the, the container, you know, a little bit better in place. I'm gonna need my glasses. Not necessarily for safety reasons, it's because I can't see. So you can get all crazy anal with this and measure and do crisscrosses and make sure that they're all exactly the same. But as I look around, ours are all pretty symmetrical. I'm fairly certain that if you put a ruler to them, they're off by an eighth an inch or a quarter inch here and there, but uh, they work. So find your center on here and go up a little bit. Now you don't need a lot of pressure on this because you, you, you know, you're not drilling through wood, you're just drilling through plastic. So that, that drill bit, the initial drill bit, the tip will go through first. And once it's through, now the teeth of the hole saw will start to go through. And you just kind of slowly, you don't want to put a whole lot of pressure, you just want it to bite through that plastic. There we go. We are through. The delay was because I think my battery is dying on my drill. So probably should have said check your battery on your drill. But we're not going to need it again. So we'll set the drill over there. It does make a little bit of a mess. So you got all these little plastic pieces kind of coming out here. So there is that I'm going to take this sandpaper and just rip it, kind of roll it up a little bit. And there's no real jagged edges on there, it's just you know, it's just kind of messy. So, I just want to just do this. You kind of get those messy strings off of there, right? There we go, just a couple on the inside in there. Done with the sandpaper. All right. Got the little plastic crumbs all over me. So now we take that little vent master screen I was talking about. You put it in here. Fits perfectly. Now they sell these in different sizes. This is the two inch size. You know, over here on our cricket uh, bins and our roach bins, we use the three inch just to get a little bit more airflow. But for these little small uh, stir lights, these two inches are perfect. So then they got these little tabs on the back. You just bend them back with your finger while you're holding the front in place. And voila, it's in there nice and tight. No geckos can escape. So now what? Well, we like to build those little climbing stations in the middle because it's kind of hard to find vines and stuff and you don't want to really go through the trouble of mounting things in these. So that's where this PVC or this CPVC comes into play. So let me just go ahead and get everything open. That's an end cap, half inch. That's the 45, half inch. Those are garbage. second end cap. All this stuff's available at local hardware store. Uh, Lowe's, Home Depot, you can buy them online, Amazon, wherever. Third end, end cap, and then remember our T fitting. So, what we need to do is we need the back. And so the T fitting, and I don't measure these, I just eyeball them. So it actually, you got to think about this. There's going to be a little leg in one end, a little leg in the other end, plus an end cap on each end, and it all has to fit in this stir light. So if I look at this with this and then end caps, it's probably going to be a little bit too big. So here's where I really like these. So first thing I'm going to do is just cut this in half.
Look how easy these are. All right, so now I've cut it in half. Now, if I put it inside here as my little feet, and then I imagine two end caps on the end, it's a smidge big uh, to get in there. So what we're gonna do, and my half measurement wasn't very good. So you turn it this way. I'll hold it on the end. I'll put the blade right there. So now I am measuring. So they're gonna be approximately the same. I'll snap that little end piece off. Now I've got two little legs that are about the same size. Let's see, I'm not putting it in hard all the way yet because it'll be hard to get apart. So when I put the end caps on there, it's gonna fit. Eh, maybe not, I don't like it. Let's trim a little bit off. Let's trim about a half inch. Probably don't have to, but I really, I really like these pipe cutters. It's kind of fun. So we'll measure this and we'll cut a little piece off. Whoops. All right, definitely gonna fit now. So there's our little scrap pieces. There's our T fitting. We'll put an end cap on here. We'll put an end cap on here. Just cause you don't want any, you know, crickets or God forbid a tiny little baby gecko. You don't want them climbing in these pipes because then you're not gonna be able to get them out. So this is where I said it's optional. You can work these on with your hand. You don't necessarily have to do this, but I just like to make sure if I pound them on with this rubber mallet, not coming out, don't need any glue. All right, so there's my base. It's gonna go right here. Now I need a little piece to come up. And again, I don't really measure these. I just kind of eyeball it. So we'll come up with this. I don't know, what do you think that is? That's maybe, maybe four inches or so. So we're gonna come up with this. Again, I'm gonna just pound her in there. Then I'm gonna put the 45 on the end of that little piece. Can't really pound the 45. You can, but it's kind of hard because it's at the angle, so you can tap it. So now I've got it coming up like this. All right, now I need a piece to go to the back of the tank. That little leftover piece is too short. I probably need something about right there. And you really can't do this. You can get all serious and measure it and break out a tape measure, but you know, if they're off by a quarter inch here and there, the gecko's not gonna know. See how that, that one went in there pretty tight. Let me just kind of look to see if it's straight. Put our end cap on. Again, you can tap it on if you want. All right. Look straight. Looks pretty straight. And fits in there pretty good. Might stick up a little high right here. So I pop that off. And I'll trim a half inch off of that baby. Now we'll slide this back on there. Put it on nice and tight. You can just twist it to make sure. That's the other thing. If you use glue, once it's glued, and if it's crooked, you can't fix it. It's on. Oh no. I made it too short. So, we gotta take that piece off. And we got to be longer than that piece. Remember I said it was going to be easy.
Maybe I should have measured. What's the old adage? Measure twice, cut once. My dad would be so disappointed. Looks fairly straight. Tie again. All right, this time we're going to take less off. Less than a half inch. We're just going to tip the little end off. So lesson to everybody, use a ruler. But the cool thing about the little cutting tool is that wasn't extremely hard. All right, I kind of like that. That looks pretty good. Can you see how that fits in there? So now we're gonna put that pipe wrap. Let me get all this paper off of me. We're gonna bring back our pipe wrap. And again, I'm not gonna measure it. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it with my finger. And you can't go all the way because it, it's not big enough to go over the uh, the fittings at the end. It's just big enough to go over the pipe. So, so you, you're a little shorter than the pipe. So there's the first piece. See, eh, looks all right. Doesn't have to be perfect. You slide, you open it up, you slide it on there. And then it's got this, this kind actually has tape strips on both sides. So you peel both of those off. And then you just squeeze it together. And it self seals. Now let me tell you, disclaimer, Everybody does something in the gecko world a little bit differently. Um, but at the end of the day, if it works for you and your geckos are safe and happy and thriving um, and you're not jeopardizing their health or their safety or harming them in any way, if it works for you, keep doing it. But be open-minded and learn. All right, so that's that last little piece of that. We're done with that. So I'm just gonna put this down here. And really, you don't need this necessarily. Um, it just gives a nice surface that the, uh, the baby new cows seem to climb on this a lot. And it gives them a nice place to hang out. So again, peel the tape off both sides. Squish it all together. And then there's your little base that's going to go in here. Okay? And it does, it will spin, but you know what? Those things weigh a couple grams, three grams, four grams, five grams. And I'll tell you, branches um, sway in the wild as well. So. Not a real big deal. So I'm just gonna wipe this out real fast because we got these little pieces in here of plastic. So I like to use two paper towels because when you miss these things down, I missed them down every other day. Um, when there's a baby in them, a single paper towel will get pretty soggy on the bottom. So I, I like to just use two. And these select a size in these six quarts, uh, Sterlite containers, look at that. It looks like they got together and made those on purpose. So I like to put two of those in. Then I drop this little guy in, this little climbing thing that we just built. Then take a little piece of plant. I don't really love this plant, uh, this vine. Like I said, it's, it's maybe a smidge smaller than I typically would use in here because I'd like to give them a little bit more coverage. Uh, you know, they feel safer and secure when they have hiding places. And you can bend these all over the place, uh, twist them around this, just lay them in there, whatever. And since we use a lot of paper towels, we save a lot of paper towel rolls. and we reuse them. So I put this in here, 
somewhere back under the leaves. It gives them a nice little hide. I like to use um, these little biodegradable Pangea cups. These things changed my life, man. Tell you what, I used to use the plastic ones and I was washing them every couple days when we had to feed. These little biodegradable cups changed my life. Talk about time. All right, so that's your little food cup. They don't get a water cup because like I said, I spray these. I have a sprayer over here somewhere. I spray these every uh, other day. So that's how they get their drinking water. Plus obviously their Pangea food is mixed with water so they get a lot of li liquid in there. And that's what you get. So you got a nice air vent, nice secure top, little climbing thing in the middle, some plants for them to hide under, piece of paper towel, uh, tube for them to use as a hide, and their little Pangea biodegradable food dish. Lid snaps on. You got a gecko house. And I guess a bit of a mess, but we'll just get rid of all this. Uh, maybe later. Hey, if you like this video, give us a like, subscribe, share. Thanks. It sound right, boy.